Good evening, friendos. It's time for Customer Semi Glory Saturday night. Grab bag. Okay, we play some good old classic Doom. Some good old classic Doom with with a small twist to it. We've uh, <clears throat> we've got a companion mod installed. Uh, you may recall, not this past Friday, but the Friday before, uh, two very hyped up games were released, uh, namely Doom Eternal and then Animal Crossing: New Horizons for for Switch. So. Um, we're gonna be playing with a with an Isabel companion mod here. Our our, our favorite little pupper is gonna be coming along with us, and, and and fighting the demons of hell. She's gonna help us out. She's gonna help us out. Oh, she's so sweet. So we're gonna just start with some like classic Doom One shit. Like you you, you can't go wrong with classic Doom One. You really can't. I know a whole bunch about episode one because that was uh, that was the shareware episode that was on every every disc ever really. Did I not hit the switch? Oh, I did. There we go. So had a lot of had a lot of practice with uh, Doom One episode one as a wee baby. And where all the secrets are, and all the fancy stuff is. Um, episode two, not not so much experience with that one. Um, that of course is part of the full game that I never had as a as a child growing up. Um, same thing for episodes three and four. I uh, didn't really play a whole heck of a lot of those, um, so we might not spend as much time on those. We might then just skip right to Doom Two. Doom Two I did have a lot of time with as as a as a kid. Um, but you know, we thought we got we got a little, little helper with us. It's Isabel from Animal Crossing. Uh, she attacks shit. She gives us ammo and health and, and armor and all that. Um, we don't have to worry about her. She she can she can take care of herself, so she doesn't take uh, she doesn't take any damage at all. Um, she's safe. She's safe. I, I think she can hit us with her, her her various attacks, but they do so little damage it's not even it's not even worth worrying about. Um, this is a little fun little jaunt. We'll have a have a little companion as we're as we're fighting uh, to hell and back, you know. That's just gonna be a fun little romp through a, a, a very, very classic game. My goodness, it's been a, a long time since I've done any sort of work with uh, ye oldie classic Doom. This will be nice and fun. It's a nice, fun little Saturday night diversion. Armor, thanks, Isabel. You're so sweet. Always thinking of us. Always thinking and protecting us. So she doesn't do a whole lot of attacking, um, unless there's a big group around. So she's mostly just gonna be following along, taking along, you know. Good guy's little friend here. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll we'll do most of the shooting. We'll do most of the uh, the wholesale murder and such. I don't know. Does it count? Uh, does it count as murder if it's demons and zombies and shit? I don't think so, right? Like we get a pass on that stuff. She will eventually drop stuff for us. I think she does have some little passive animations. If we just sit here for a bit. Just give us more stuff. Hey, thanks for the armor. All right. We'll, we'll see what she does. We'll see what her kind of passive stuff is if we just sit here. A little idle animation. So I think there are a couple things, right? Yeah. She says has a little sit down, has a little rest. I mean, that's important. I mean, running around as fast as Doom Guy does, sometimes you just gotta, gotta take a moment. <laughs> Ah, so cute, so cute. All right, let's go. Let's, let's keep going. Did we get the red key already? We did. Thank you. Catch up to us, I think. Where is she? Oh, she's dead. All right, that's fine. Sometimes she gets, she lags behind a little bit. That's fine. 
It's alright, we'll, we'll clear the way for her. Make things nice and safe. Take uh, take one of the kills there. She busted out a double barrel. She's using a hammer before. I think she's got like a little a little grapple hook type thing too. And we've yet to see the little confetti bomb. I think that's a thing as well. I think that's mostly for wide open spaces, maybe some big groups and shit. Isabel, such a sweetheart. Such a gosh dang sweetheart. Giving us more ammo and armor and such while we're taking a swig here. Um, did I get the other? I don't think I got the other thing, did I? Our other backpack just to get some more rockets to our name. <clears throat> oh no, we did get that. Oh well. Memory's not so good. Double barrel. <laughs> it's so funny. <clears throat> it's so funny seeing her bust that out and just shove a slug right into the face of the demon. There we go. There's the there's the confetti. I don't think it really does much, but it makes an awful lot of noise and looks really nice. So she's trying. That's the important bit. Is that she's trying. She's doing her best to help in a dire situation. Oh, excuse me, I'd, li I'd like to. Okay, let's just like to hit the button to get out of the room. Button, please, thank you. Alright, make sure she's doing her thing. There we go. Got our backs. Too far behind, she'll just kind of teleport in next to us. Eventually. I think. 
Actually, I think it's if she loses line of sight to us, then she pops into existence here. Where'd she go? Ow. There she is. <laughs> Side of this belt, the latter half of that level. That's all right. Ooh, dang, okay, I got it right up in my face. Well. Hey, Firetron, how you doing? Good to see you. That's right, classic ass Doom. Plus a little companion mod for Grinzies. Since I can't play Doom Eternal, I don't quite have a, uh, a beefy enough machine to handle that. May as well just play some classic stuff. And also slam Isabel in here too, because Animal Crossing is apparently pretty fun and cool, but I also don't have that, so... We'll do what we can with what we have. Oh, cool. You got it? Nice. Yeah, I've, I've heard, like, almost entirely positive things about it, so... I got, I'm tempted, but the only real Animal Crossing I've ever played before was, um... Whatever one they had for the, the, the Wii way back in the day. Was that City Folk or whatever? I don't know. I don't know. There's so many, like, mainline Animal Crossing titles now, it's hard to keep track of them all. Which one is actually which? I mean, I, and I had a good time with it for the for the for the very little of it that I played in, you know, in, in totality. It was it was pretty nice. It was pretty good and wholesome and and, and fun and just a very chill experience. Uh, 
Hey, Kenny, how you doing? Let's see. Where'd our, where'd our little buddy go? He should be here helping us with this fight. Isabel, where'd you go? Get caught behind a door somewhere? I guess you should just teleport to us. But anyways, the, the mod we're using is a companion mod that uh, puts Isabel from Animal Crossing in here as our little buddy. Helps us fight, gives us items and shit. It's fun and cute. It's fun and cute and wholesome and just a little, little dill in the bop to chill out to on a Saturday Eve. Where'd she go, though? Actually, now I'm kind of worried about her. Where Isabel, where are you? <laughs> Did we leave her behind somewhere? Should be here. We should be here somewhere. Oh, there she is. How are you doing? Come with us. Come on, Isabel. Come on. There's there's demons to kill. She's caught on something. She's definitely caught on something. Oh well. Well, all right. We'll finish the level without her, and then she'll she'll be back to to normal in the next level, I think. <clears throat> no, she does not take damage. She is uh, she is invincible to everything, even even the enemies, because she's a strong, independent doggo who don't need no doom guy to look after. Her. She can look after herself. But she's very kind, and she helps us anyways. Got the yellow key. Okay. So whatever. I like. I'm not too worried about her. It's fine. We can take care of the rest of this level on our own. Now we got that key. Uh, the mod itself. I like. I was only told about it last week. But it's, I, to my knowledge, it's fairly new. Where the hell am I going? What key did I grab now? The red key. Yeah, there you go. Two weeks ago sounds about right. Like, like very close to Animal Crossing's New Horizons coming out. Naturally. Really, I'll take the backpack. A little extra rocket. All right, now she should be back with us. Let's make sure she's doing her thing. Now she just throw health and ammo to us. Health and ammo, she'll attack things. Doesn't do a whole heck of a lot. Like, she's a little slow on the draw sometimes, but that's alright. Like, she doesn't... She doesn't like to get, like, real deep in. She'll do guy take care of the real gnarly stuff. But there, she pulled out a... 
double barrel and unload it into some unfortunate soul there. Yeah, the health she throws is definitely the Wolfenstein 3D medkits. I believe the ammo is also a Wolfenstein 3D uh, ammo pack. <coughs> and I'm not sure what the armor is supposed to be modeled after. Probably just something similar in that nature. Some way you can get across to there. Maybe it's an SR50. Oh, maybe not in this particular version of this episode one level. This room, in particular, used to scare me the most when I was a wee babby, because it just felt so tight in. Low-ass ceiling, it's kind of dark, you could hear things all around you. It's always very nerve-wracking when I was a child. But now it's like, ah, eh, whatever. <laughs> no big deal. I try my best not to shoot at Isabel. <laughs> Even though she can't take damage, I'd feel real bad if for some reason there was a glitch and I did accidentally hurt her. I would feel extremely bad. Under the facade of cuteness, there's nothing but pure, un unadulterated evil. You know, you might be right, you might be wrong, but I ain't gonna be the one to bring it up to her, alright? Like, that's your funeral.
I can barely remember all the secrets are after all these years. Only in episode one. Episode two and three I have very little idea about. Because those were not ever on the shareware discs. Everything else though, episode one, absolutely 100% committed to memory. <laughs> like I couldn't forget that shit if I tried at this point. I know most of Doom 2 as well, because that was one of the few PC games that my family bought way back in the day. Way, way, way back in the day. But yeah, definitely the the non-episode 1 <laughs> portions of original Doom are, are, are a little bit fuzzy. First episode though, 100% I know where everything is. <laughs> Except where the hell the entrance of the wall is here. Never know. Hey, Straight Lamadnar, how you doing? <laughs> Lots of good things about this game. Well, I hope so. I mean, OG Doom. One of the incredible classics of a bygone DOS era. to find any sort of complaint about this game. One of the very few that are almost perfect, I would say. Softcore porn for a kid at lunch. <laughs> a stack of floppy disks. Oh man. Interesting. I don't remember ever buying porn off anybody. No, I don't think that's ever anything I did, but. It does sound like that would be the thing to do back then, though. Selling black is called hardcore. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. It's too funny. Oops, didn't want to fall down just yet. deal with this shit.
Oops, totally whiffed on that one. Why is everything green? Uh, in this particular version of GZ Doom that I'm using to play here, instead of the <coughs> light amplification goggles, they call them infrared goggles. And I don't know why they chose green to kind of light everything up with, but that's you know, it's just the thing. <laughs> and now it's green because I've got a radiation suit. That they didn't change. Yeah, I, I think the the light goggles being like more infrared-y in this kind of variant of it is... I don't think it's the best aesthetic choice they could have made, but eh, it happens so infrequently that it doesn't really bother me too much. Is infrared usually drawn in green? Hmm, okay. I guess that makes sense, though. Doing, doing more to pull her weight around here. It's a lot more for her to do instead of not being able to do anything for us because we're murdering everything on site quite as quickly. It's 
way. There was a way to drop one of these things, though. I don't exactly remember this one too well. I thought one of these things would drop and give you another. I already have 100 rockets? Holy shit, where did I get 100 rockets from? <laughs> Start using those bad boys. to where the red door is. That's right, it's back through the other yellow door. look too closely at the map pickups uh, animated sprite to live up. Does it actually do the whole interrobang thing on it at some point? That'd be pretty sick if they did. Uh, I've got to keep my... Aw, nuts. Because that would be fun. That does make sense, though, that it's time to. <laughs> that does make a lot of sense.
Alright, now I think we've got enough rockets. We can just blast through. There we go. <laughs> Alright, last level of episode one. Bell. Careful. <laughs> oh, I don't think that actually did damage, just caused the little pain noise. Easy peasy. 61 rockets to spare. Oh, I didn't get the get the jump there. And Isabel stayed behind. That's fine. She doesn't need to worry about us. Ariel, episode one. <laughs> now, episodes two and three I'm gonna be a little bit more confused about. They were singing Mary Had a Little Lamb, why'd I have to kill him? Because he was singing very poorly. You take singing Mary Had a Little Lamb very seriously. And if he's doing a bad job, like, you can't, you can't let that continue. You gotta have respect for the art. Cacodemons cannot make any headway. All the fucking pots smashing into him. Fucking face there. Good work, Isabel. Probably my least favorite of episode two. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oops, we got shut down this way. Excuse me. What happens if Doom Guy punches Chuck Norris's kick? Uh, I, I think the singularity happens and everything gets destroyed. Nothing would survive that. Oh, we just got the red key. It's like one of those unstoppable force immovable object scenarios, I think. Isabel someone too. Yeah. What happened to her? We we're just moving too fast. She couldn't keep up. Maybe she's just having a little sit down. I can understand that. Doom guy moves at about Mach three, so understand not being able to keep up sometimes. 
certainly saves on ammo when she does most of the work. <laughs> it's Trick Chant tonight. I'm um, having a, a nice old standard whiskey and cola. I don't want to get too fancy nowadays, because I don't know when it's going to be safe to go to the liquor store next, so... I gotta portion things out. <laughs> That's only partially true, though. I've got, like, tons. Tons and tons of booze in reserve for just such a situation as shelter in place, so... You know. We make the best with what we got. Order on Drizzly. You're right, I could. I could, but I got like probably five or six full bottles of stuff yet of spirits. So I am I am well and good and, and, and properly stocked for a good long time yet. Cause as luck and or fate would have it, I did a, a pretty significant booze run. Um, not too not too long before the official shelter in order or shelter in place order came down. So some sort of luck came into play there. I missed the door on that one, so we're not getting that secret. Well. I don't like this level either, it's way too large. Well, either finish the job or let this dude come to us so we can finish it. Thank you. <laughs> I don't quite remember where to go on this one either. It's not open. <laughs> This way. No, is that not open? When the hell does that place open? These get really soft. I'm turn this up a little bit.
<laughs> Quick work.
serves. I think one of these is the secret exit. I don't remember which one, if that's even true. So we caught the secret level in episode one, which is perfectly fine. I know where that one is, but I don't know where it is for episodes two and three. That's right. I remember it being a, a bit of a problem though, if you don't have a whole heck of a lot of ammo to deal with. It's cause a lot of infighting here and hope for the best. We'll run around and let Isabel do all the hard work. Thank <laughs> you. 
Salut. Let's see. Sometimes it's just easier to navigate with the map. Just a tick. One, oh wait, one of these is a fake exit, I think. 
they start pulling that horse shit in episode two already. One of these is fake. Maybe it's this one. Yep. <laughs> That's right. going for the high five. I think there is another animation we haven't seen in this yet. Or you can high five Isabel. but I don't think we've quite seen that yet. She's got a, a double barrel shoddy. That's like a knife. <laughs> it's like many knives thrown into one. There we go. Good work, Isabel. She's got us covered. Alright, now I can be on our way here. Those other ones grunt and groan all they'd like.
Make the most of that vulnerability. Didn't do very well with it. Hell, I haven't played episode 2 very much. No idea where I'm going. Oh, oh save the bell. She caught on the corner of that thing. Is that why she hasn't been following us? Yep. Now, yeah, well, I'm sure we'll be. the blue door okay I think it no it's a teleporter down there the yellow key I know is on top of there oh there's the blue door up there okay uh I can't get over there now we know we need to go all the way back <laughs>
to a place I haven't littered corpses just yet. Sounds like the rain's picking up again. Heard a little bit of thunder earlier today. That was very cool. I like me some thunderstorms. the snarling and gunshots, I think it's coming down pretty good. Good to go. Good to get to F out of H. This, oh jeez. <laughs> this bell spooked me a little bit there. So I don't remember if this is the last one of this episode or if there's one more. Okay, this is, this is the last one because we're fighting the Cyber Demon. Okay. Good. Let's rock. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> this bell helped me out a little bit with this one, huh? Oh jeez, don't don't bring him closer to me, my goodness. That is the opposite of helping. I catch one of those rockets to the face. I think it does up to like 350 damage or something. Let's see look, Isabel, no fear, just get right up in there. Ow shoot. Yeah, that took a good chunk out of me there. Here's episode two. Bam, bam, bam. Have I ever played Painkiller? I maybe once for a very short amount of time, but I don't remember anything about it. that I've got a doggo <laughs> along with me with a double barrel. But I shouldn't have a shotgun until now. That's okay. That's okay. Gauntlet Arena Shooter with a stake launcher. Oh, okay, then I definitely haven't played anything like that. I don't remember that.
I, re I remember this one pretty well. It's, it's the map is the shape of a claw or a hand or something. I think it's this one. Okay, alright, so I haven't played it. I haven't played it myself, but I do recall that particular <laughs> feature of it. Uh, that's right. I'll uh, follow the arrow, because they're... Actually, I don't remember if that opened the right one. Alright, we still got the sweet chart. Painkillers, plural? Is there more than one in the series? It's plasma or BFG. Yeah. Okay, so we did thumb, we did index, we did middle, it's got ring and pink. Yeah. 
knew we would get plasma sometime in this level. Could not remember when. Alright, now we should be good, because we've got... Oh, uh, wait. There's the there it's... Oh, no. Oh, Alright. Uh... side things. Some of the fingers. Is handshake map and original map. Yep, yep. This is uh, what E three E three M two. Definitely one hundred percent intended. Maybe something super stupid early on. map, we should be done with this. I missed one of the tips of the other fingers, did I? I already got it. When what the fuck did I pick it up? <laughs> ah, fuck it.
Yep, I'll drop down there. <laughs> what the sh She's beating the shit out of there, but she's having a good time doing it. That's the important bit. Serves and it very rarely does. Oh, yep, there we go. Jesus, Isabel, don't scare me. <laughs> don't scare me like that. Kill John Romero at the end, right? Yeah, if you clip into the space behind um, <clears throat> behind the icon of sin, you'll see John Romero's head on a pike, which is the thing that takes damage to to trigger the end sequence, which is funny as hell. Oh yeah, Doom Two, yeah, you're right. Yep, that is correct, though. about the design of episodes two and three just don't strike me as well as episode one i 
there seems to be a whole lot of empty space and running around in... Maybe not in 2 so much, but episode 3 is definitely a whole lot more open spaces, which... Eh, not as fun and exciting. I mean, yeah, I'm absolutely way more familiar with Episode 1 than anything else because of the whole shareware thing. But I think just in general, the designs of 2 and 3 are not as good. I won't say they're bad, necessarily, because, I mean, fucking OG Doom is fantastic all the way through. I just don't think they're as good. But that's just, like, my opinion, man. situation. go. Oh, 
Oh, is this the one with all the teleports and shit? I don't particularly like this one either. <laughs> I... That's what I always got confused about, you know, these dumbass Which teleport pads. I think this is the one with the secret level exit on it, too, but I have no idea where that one is from here. The other one just takes you back there. Oh, oh, thanks for throwing it through the teleport, Isabel. Much appreciated. Actually, the exit? Maybe it is. Interesting. Okay. Well, I don't. I'm gonna keep going with this. I don't. Because I don't think that's the secret exit necessarily. I think if we keep going through the entirety of the rest of the level, we might get to the secret exit.
feel like it might be behind the yellow door. I'm not 100% sure where that door is. You had to do like shoot one of the walls or something like that. Uh, I don't remember. Maybe we'll just get on out of here and say, fuck it, no secret level for episode three tonight. worth running around for another 10 minutes and I'd probably still just have to look it up. Oh, fuck, that's right. Oh, right, and then fire blue. Okay, well, rip stream encoding, sorry. <laughs> We're gonna be looking at this for a little bit. Ah, shit. Mount Erebus, it's right. Thank <laughs> you. 
no idea where I'm actually supposed to be going here. Wow, that's a good guess. Good fucking guess. Why is the latter half of episode 3 just so shitty? <laughs> Was this level that had the secret exit to it? I don't remember. There's so many damn teleporters here. You gotta pick the right one, and then you gotta go get all the keys. And, ugh. Real big problem is I don't remember which one is the correct one. Okay, so that was 
get the red key. Okay, so the center. Center one goes to where I need to go next, I think. So that leads to the, the next key. Oh shit, is there a switch on that wall we need to hit? Oh shit. Yeah, balls. Alright, kinda fucked that one up. one it was. Oh, it's over on that one. Okay. Uh, okay. I think... Mm, I think I know. I might need the yellow key for it. Okay. Alright. Perfect. Then I need to use the yellow key. I okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, it's starting to come back to me a little bit. Um, bum, 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 bum. This game looks like shit, these graphics, bro. Well, it's classic Doom, what do you want? They only had so much to work with back in the early 90s? <laughs> early 90s? I want to guess. GZ Doom, yes, yep. Yep, using GZ Doom for this. Correct, because we couldn't use the Isabel mod otherwise. But I like I like GZ Doom on the whole. Because I like my full range mouse look. <laughs> like I get that people are horny nostalgic for you know, being constrained. <laughs> pitching up and down. But meh. I prefer having the creature comforts of modern FPSs, like being able to look around. Uh, okay, so we just did, we just hit the switch. We've got the yellow thingamading. Let's see, we're gonna want this one now. There we go. Oh, dang it! We still need to hit one other thing. Uh, so which one was this? That oh, was that. Okay, so now I think we need to hit the same one. Uh, yes. There's that one, and now we need to go back to... God, I always hated this level because of this fucking run around. There we go. Now we're good. Oi. Alright, this might be the final level of the episode. Yes, it is. Okay, well... Not messing around on this one. Where is this fucker? There he is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it always never fails to make me laugh. Hmm. No, I didn't do Warrens. Is Warrens the secret level for episode three? If it is, I don't know how to get to it. Offhand. Alright, and that's pretty much Doom 1. <laughs> or Rocket Jump from Erebus. Yeah, okay, I'll get right on that. <laughs> nope. Um, there is a fourth episode. I don't know if I want to do it. I guess we can we can try it. We can start it, but... Um, I remember playing through this episode 4 once, and I just did not have a good time. Just did not have a good time with it, so... We'll see what we can do. I remember M1 especially being super tight on resources, so maybe with Isabelle along for the ride we'll be able to survive a little bit better. Ouch. Poison, man. Isabel, 
you're supposed to be helping. Wow, yeah, wow. Got totally fucking wrecked there. Oof. That's right, because there's so few health pickups here. Bring my back. Fuck, it's the shitter down there, which I don't want. Ouch. chance to get that rocket launcher. I feel like I did because it's behind that little section. <laughs> no, I'm not going down there to get that stuff. You gotta bring it up here to me. <laughs> Please. Okay, even with Isabel helping us out, this is still a, a right pain in the keister. Oh boy, alright, we might just skip right to Doom 2. <laughs> if we don't get it on Jesus, we don't get it on this try, we're just gonna skip right to Doom 2. Now I remember why I don't like episode 4. Okay. <laughs> On to Doom 2. Take me a moment to get this set up. Be back in a bit. Just to say, like, a minute. <laughs> Just need to close and reopen GZ Doom. We'll see how far we get through this. Maybe I'll go for another hour or so. So Doom 2 I did play a lot as a kid. 
Um, so I know like the first, I mean, like the first half of it, I know pretty well, and then the latter half, I don't know quite as well, but we can, we can get through it. We can muddle through it without too much issue. We might make it about halfway through, I'd say, because about it's about at that time where the levels start to get a little bit eh. And I don't care to muddle through them that much tonight. Doom remade in Quake 2. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was wondering what that what you were talking about before, too. It's like, oh, that's interesting. Doom 64 PC? They did a, a Doom 64 board for PC? That's kind of interesting. I've always been kind of mildly interested in Doom 64 just for Grimsies, but I don't think I would ever actually play it on N64. Five bucks, huh? Oh yeah, that's 100% worth it. 100% worth it. That's an easy impulse buy. As I recall, like, 64's level design was pretty fucking good. Right, yeah, I remember the whole brouhaha over Bethesda accounts and logging into it and shit. Like, hell no. Absolutely fucking lootly not. <laughs> that shit ain't worth that. those open anyways, because we're not here to be safe and do quote-unquote speedrunner strats. We're just here to kill shit. friend here. She not pop along for the run. Eh, okay, she must have been turned to passive mode for some reason. Oh, 
know how to get to level 33 and be trained Doom 2. Huh. I didn't know there was a level 33. Interesting. I, I, everybody knows about the the two Wolfenstein-esque levels, right? I, there's a 30... There's a, really, there's a third one? Interesting. I didn't... Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's news to me. That thing even exists. If it's consort, uh, yeah. console port only, that would make more sense. Yeah, I wouldn't know anything about the console ports, really. I think I only very briefly played... Let's see, which one was it? Must have been the Xbox 360 one. Or does there seem to be a lot fewer enemies than I remember here? Did I not start this on ultraviolence? I think maybe I didn't start that on ultraviolence. Does it tell me? Somehow I can look up which difficulty this is. Nuts. Ah, well, it doesn't fucking matter. I'm expecting a lot more of these dudes to be shooting at me, but maybe there's just less than I remember. Port of Doom 10, Doom 3 BF2, this is where retain it. It's accessible in both versions because exit switch leading to level of inoperable. Ha! <laughs> Interesting. Oh, yeah, I didn't even know such a thing existed. This is ultraviolence, because there's definitely two per platform in here. The SR40 of these, or is it SR50s only? I think it might be SR50 only. And I don't know how to do that. Or rather, I know how to do it, but I'm not gonna set up to try to do it. Mmm, wait a minute. Hold up a tick. Maybe this is an ultraviolence zone, because there definitely should be a specter down here. Whoops. Uh... Okay, here's what we're gonna do then. 
I'm pretty sure in GZ Doom there's a console command to set difficulty? I'm gonna look it up real quick. Or maybe it's just warp into the level with a certain difficulty. That sucks. I was wondering why I was burning through these so quickly. Okay, just skill, blah 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 blah. Start a new game before it takes effect until we have having the game change skill levels as you're playing. Aw, I guess you can't do it. Huh, interesting. Alright, we'll, we'll try that. Let's just skill and then, okay. We'll see if that works. If it doesn't, oh well, we'll just keep going. But I'm kind of bummed there's not more corpses we can create here. one with the switch. Isn't this one? There it is. It says for next game, so we'll see what happens. Here's what we can do then instead. Let's go, what's that map? Five is waste tunnels, right? Yeah, there we go. We'll just start here. <laughs> and we won't have any of our guns or ammo, but that's fine. That's better. This is the correct amount of bodies now. Ah, that's 
Yep. Wait, what the hell? Why wasn't the super shoddy up front there? What the heck? Oops. That's bizarre. When I respawned, this thing wasn't here. Huh. <laughs> Get through the first third of this and then we'll call it a night. Getting kind of late. This is nice just to do a nice chill. Nice chill classic Doom. With our, our favorite pupper in tow. Oh. 
gun out of there. <laughs> Stop moving because I. Yeah, alright. <laughs> hey, what the hell? Uh, can I get that thing down? This one, right? Just pop over to the center and then pop back over and it doesn't open. I do 
still want the other one. Well, we'll just finish that simple and then call it. And then call it a night. Stray rockets. Ow. 
All right, I think we'll call it there for this this evening. Three hours of classic Doom is pretty good. Plus, I don't really like tricks and traps, so that's as good a time as any to wrap it. We might pick this up again some other weekend, just to finish off Doom Two, maybe revisit, maybe revisit Doom One, Episode Four, but I very much doubt that one. But that'll do it for tonight. Uh, next stream will be tomorrow night, 7 p.m. CDT, I think, right? Yep. Um, Salt Andrew Cactus. I don't know what we're gonna do with it just yet because I am planning a another large event type thing, let's call it, um, involving uh, Salt Andrew Cactus. So I don't know how much I want to play that kind of on the side as well. Um, Alright, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.